Getting started with Buster.js takes about 3 minutes. First, install Node.js if you haven't already. Then, npm install Buster with a global option to get the Buster command line tool. Some folders for our tests. Now let's test if Gizmo knows math. We require Buster and define the test case. Notice that our test doesn't have to start with the keywords test or should. Assert equals is one of many assertions available, and it's easy to add more. We'll look at that in another screencast. Oh, uh, we have to link Buster into the project, uh, so it can be required. We already ran our first test, and that was, that was under a minute. Let's just quickly watch it fail. Yep, that works. Notice how the stack trace is really concise. That's because Buster filters out its own internals from the stack trace before showing it to you. If you like the BDD syntax, Buster has that too. We have to explicitly expose the spec functions. Uh, Buster tries to avoid dumping stuff into the global namespace unless we're going to use them. That runs too, but as our test suite grows, uh, let's find a more convenient way of running all our tests. Add a buster.js config file to the root test or spec folder. There's only a couple things Buster needs to know to run our tests. We want to run them in Node, as opposed to the browser, and all our tests are in this directory. And we can use glob patterns, of course. With the Buster command line tool, we can now run all our tests from anywhere in the project folder structure. So we're up and running, but we just scratched the surface of Buster.js capabilities. Stay tuned.